Yo, Coach Lewis, you know, uh, you know, my Eagles, I like them, I like them a lot. What do you think? What do they got to do against this Kansas City team and that Mahomes guy? Well, it's it's funny what Chuck said is he told he said uh, uh, they had to be able to stop the run Kansas City, right? Because they're going to get pounded. And I put the number one thing for the Eagles is run the football. The ball. <laughs> That's my number one thing. Run the football, control the clock. And, and like Chuck has elaborated on, uh, that RPO game that comes off of those runs uh, makes very effective first downs and second and longs because they're able to make first downs a lot uh, with that. They're so physical up front. Uh, they're so fast in the zone scheme. And then they're physical when they run their gap schemes. And uh, they really do a great job up front. So that's number one. I think defensively, is, and, and we saw them be able to do this, is be able to play Kansas City with the light boxes. They like to play some form of shell coverage, whether it be rolling to a particular receiver or side, uh, uh, some kind of combination or quarters, uh, but a lot of cover two deep safeties. Uh, sometimes at one side playing a quarters technique over there with a little bit more of a double and a trap. And uh, they're going to have to be effective against Kansas City because, like Chuck said, Kansas City is going to try and get five out. And that means they got to have a plan for Riddick because he can wreck the game, as we saw him do. Kansas City almost has to throw out the San Francisco game. I mean, Andy really can't use that as a breakdown for how they're going to play the game because once they lost the quarterback, there was no threat of throwing the football. Yeah. You know, and so that's really not indicative of how they'll get played uh, that way. Um, so you almost have to go back and even like San Francisco last week, you had to go back to how they played Houston to see how they were going to play the RPO game and, uh, you know, and Jalen Hurts. And I think the third thing uh, is winning the red zone. I think that's the paramount Chuck mentioned at the end. Uh, you're not going to win this game kicking field goals. So the team that wins the red zone on offense and defense. Uh, so for Philly, they got to win the red zone. They've been one of the best. Uh, red zone goal line teams in the National Football League this year. Unfortunately, conversely for Kansas City, their red zone defense has been at the bottom of the pack. So uh, Philly's got to win the red zone in order to win this football game.